This is during a short time period. I know, sounds a bit weird. Today's topic is the Civil War. But 1860, the Confederate States of America, aka the CSA, decided to secede from the Union. And the Union was like, no. Then after the secession, there were both some Union forts in the CSA, one of which was named Fort Sumter. But let's look at the pros of both sides and see why they were fighting in the first place. The two sides were the Confederates and the Union. See, the rebels had, well, control over the international cotton market. Meanwhile, the Union had more men. Like, too much. The Union would have involved other European countries, but the Union had a major industrial country with coal galore. Also, the rebels had slavery and wanted to show that the world that, well, they wanted to declare independence from the Union. And the Union believed that saying that, well, seceding is illegal, but later the motivation was changed. Alright, back to Fort Center. Let's zoom in on what happened. Plan A was that the Yankees would give the fort back to the rebels. But when they said no, they did Plan B. Which was kinda obvious. So, that's a win for the Confederates. Next up, Virginia. The Union's plan was to invade Richmond and bring the Confederacy back to the Union. But the two sides had both met in Manassas during, well, the travel. They both encountered each other at Bull Run Creek. The Union had outflanked the Confederates and they were almost about to win until a certain Thomas Jackson, aka Stonewall Jackson, what, what, why, what was he called a Stonewall Jackson? Oh, well, uh, he made himself into a stone wall and uh, people didn't let the Union, you know, move forward. So the Union had to flee because they couldn't let them. So, another victory for the Confederates. Welcome back, Woodrow, to Fact of the Week. This week's fact is that Michael Jackson actually tried to buy Marvel Entertainment in the 90s just so that he could play Spider-Man someday. It would have been a great deal for Marvel in its early days, especially because Marvel filed for bankruptcy in 1996. However, the deal did not go through. But just imagine what Marvel would have been under Michael Jackson. That's it for Fact of the Week. Also, don't forget to send your facts to the ID below, and have a great day.